Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about digital comics. We're going to talk about web comics. We're going to talk about Webtoon getting backlash from comic creators again. It's another controversy, and this time over their contract for their originals series. Now, it's being alleged that if you become a basically a full-time professional web tuner, is that, is that a thing, a web tuner, webtoon creator, that uh, it's kind of like a gilded cage. Like, yeah, you might make enough to make a living, but they uh, have a lot of rights over your work. As I understand it, now this is coming from a post on Reddit that's making the rounds on social media. I saw it originally on Facebook from somebody who works in the comic book industry and has seen a lot of contracts. And they said, yeah, this is not good, if true. And some other people corroborated this information. We have not seen the contract ourselves, so I want to be very no. clear about that. In fact, I'm going out to Webtoon's site and they're kind of deliberately vague. You're not going to get one of these contracts unless you're actually signing with them. Mm -hmm. But just kind of to make you aware that this is making the rounds. And, uh, you know, I saw it all over the place. Twitter and uh, Facebook and, like I said, other comic book professionals are sharing it. So it's probably worth mentioning anyway. Now, I think the original poster deleted their account or something. But other people jumped in here and they cooperated. They said, yeah, this is this is the deal. So just be, be aware. Um, so let's look at this. We're going to look at it. Uh, so before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, this isn't the first time Webtoon has stepped in it with creators before. I know a couple mm -hmm. of years ago, they did this marketing campaign, and uh, they said comics are literature's fun side hustle. People, oh. people got really angry about this. Now, here's the thing. If you're going to do comics outside of, I guess, the mainstream comic book industry, Webtoon is incredibly popular. I mean, it is. Well, they make a lot of them into shows like K-dramas and stuff like that come from Webtoons. They do. And if you go to Walmart, even, I would say a good portion of the graphic there novels there are Webtoon. They are. In fact, Laura Olympus, which they have there. Laura Olympus is, very is always popular. very, very popular. She's got a, a TV deal now. So, I, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, there aren't advantages to working with Webtoon because clearly they can get stuff out there. Now, whether or not your deal is going to be like their deal I don't know. Well, I want to make it clear, too, though. We're talking about people who are giving, like, exclusive creator deals. We're not talking about if you upload your comic right, to Webtoon. Right. That's not what we're talking about here. Unless you're one of the ones being given a contract and a deal, you should be fine. They're not saying they own anything of yours or there's any issues there. Right. Um, let's specify that. So a lot of people go to Webtoon because it's a pre-built-in audience, which I I recommend if you're going to do web comics to put it on Webtoons is a smart thing to do because there's a lot of people. The downside is there's a lot of people and it might be hard to get found. Yes. Um, but if you want to start out with a place where you have the best shot at getting found, it makes the most sense to go to Webtoon. Webtoon has become the YouTube of comics, mm -hmm. basically. <laughs> we, we were there when it was early. We were there. We were anyway, too early. We were we way were too early. early. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about this. It's coming from the uh, Webtoons subreddit. Uh, this person said they were offered an original deal a few months ago, but they looked over the contract, and it, se it seemed extremely predatory. Um, I have experience in traditional comics. I'm well-versed in rights and such. This is why you always need an attorney to look at contracts. Yes. Always. Always. Yes, I know. You're looking at me. You're looking at me. I couldn't believe what I was reading in my contract, so I contacted a few originals creators to see if the stuff in my contract was also in theirs. I was shocked and appalled at what I discovered. And somebody else actually does jump in and cooperate this. Um, so basically, the Webtoon original contract has evolved every year or so to become more and more predatory. I'm sure. These were the things in the contract offered to me and what I assume the current and newest contract has. I signed the contract, all these, if I signed the contract, yeah. did not. If I signed the contract, all these clauses would apply to my comic in exchange for being an originals series. Webtoon would automatically have the ability to buy 100% of my IP. Uh, no. Previous Webtoon originals creators didn't have this in their contract at all, so I believe this is a new thing. Apparently, this is so if any new series happens to do very well, Webtoon can just snatch the entire IP out from under their That's creator. what it sounds like to me. And unfortunately, this has already happened to some creators. For a low fee. For a low fee. Wait, yeah. there's not even like a, a market value? It's just, you know. To be like, here's the, the base, you know. So if they want to make a, a show about your, your, your IP, we're going to suddenly own it. Well, it could be like, hey, Laura Olympus did 
uh, really well. And gosh, if we didn't have to pay her royalties forever, wouldn't it be so much easier? Well, I can tell you, this reminds me of when you have an agent and you have signatures with publishing houses, that a lot of times now they demand the theme park rights. Yes. And that's because of Harry Potter. Yes, (laughs) that's because J.K. Rowling was very shrewd. And it's kind of like... The same thing happened with George Lucas, where he's like, I want the toy rights to Star Wars. Like, well, nobody's going to buy the toys. Sure, sure, you can have that. I want the theme park rights. Who's going to who's gonna make a roller coaster based on a book about a kid that goes to a magic school? That's the stupidest thing. Well, here we are. Yeah, yeah so yeah. So Webtoon would own my print and publishing rights. This was something no, no, that no, immediately no, no, no. stood out yes. to me. Yes, no, no, no. Uh, I had previously read some threads on Twitter by original creators that talked about printing rights. And with my own experience in traditional publishing, I was shocked and angry to see this. Digital publishers should not have print publishing rights. No, they should not. Well, the thing is, is that Webtoon is pushing heavily into print. Mm-hmm. Webtoon is Walmart, which is why you're seeing the books at Walmart. Yes, and they're selling very, very well. That's that's why it's just again it's like J.K. Rowling because nobody could have foreseen the theme park doing as well as it did Wizarding World, so now Webtoon is like man we're leaving money on the table if we let these people publish their own books because we could publish our books and make make a bunch of money off of that. Um, yeah, if you don't know, print publishing rights can be bought by publishers in the deal. It could be anywhere from five to six figures of money. That means if I signed the Webtoon Originals deal, I'd be giving away my print publishing rights to Webtoon for almost Which they could take, And they could take your IP 100%. Yeah. There is a clause that specified they would pay me $2,000 for automatic ownership of my print rights, which is a huge ripoff. Holy crap. Compared to the five or six figures that wow. they normally would get. Wow, this is true. This is not good. Webtoon would own all of my <laughs> merchandising oh, rights. What? What the hell? I wouldn't be allowed to make merch of my own comics. Not much to elaborate on here other than that clause sucks. That actually, that actually does happen though. If you even get a traditional publishing deal, they're kind of like, well, like all the Harry Potter stuff. Well, she has a different deal, but like a lot of times it would go through the publisher. It's like they do nothing except print your book and distribute and they get everything. And that's what this is. They're making, they're not putting the hours of work in. You are. They're just putting it on their platform. So you get, you get boosted and then they take everything. No. Webtoon, oh, no. Webtoon will become my agent for print publishing and multimedia deals. No, 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 no. This is highly unethical. Yes. An agent is supposed to be a third party with your best interests in mind. If Webtoon is my digital publisher and also my agent, it could just sell my rights to another one of its branches, like to the Webtoon Wattpad portion of the company that prints books, cutting me a crappy deal to keep costs down and pay me as little as possible. Yes, that's that's bad deal. I'm sorry. I'm just distra- I'm so distracted by the fact that they can remember to use commas and periods, but they can't use capital letters. <laughs> so I can guess the age range. Not only were these clauses, it could be on their phone too. They could be typing on their phone. Not only were these clauses highly unethical, but the pay offered to me was also severely lacking. Yeah, I agree. In conclusion, I'm still shocked and angry about the contract. I'm saddened that every time a new originals deal is announced because I know the creator has basically given up all their rights. Don't give up your rights. We've talked about this before. Yeah. Um, I think the reason they're doing it is again, they're, 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 business model isn't necessarily off the comics. It's basically an IP farm. Yeah, pretty that, much. If they think you can do something they can make a lot of money on, they're going, and they sound like they're going to screw you. But the agent thing too, the reason they don't want you to have an agent is because an agent would step in and be like, no, 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 and negotiate it in a way that the person would get paid. And that's why they're like, we're your agent now. This was every red flag ever. Um, so this is this is somebody corroborating the story two days ago. I want to thank the OP for posting this. It explains so much. I was asked a bit ago by a friend to review the contract Webtoon has sent them to become a Webtoon Originals creator. And I was sincerely shocked by what they were asking in that contract that I legit thought it was a scam, especially since I never heard these terms before by any other Webtoon Original creator. Yeah, because you go out to their site, and this is why I'm confused. Um, this is as of 2022. Okay, but this, that would have been the old contract. Right. As of 2022, they said that our contracts are similar to what you'll find in other entertainment and publishing companies uh, covering publishing, merchandising, and adaptations. But unlike many other kinds of contracts, Webtoon creators maintain the largest controlling ownership stake in their webcomic. Our contracts enable Webtoon to create more business opportunities for a series and creator while also protecting the IP for both creators and Webtoon. See, that's just it. Creative, IP for creators and Webtoon. That's what gets me right there. Because, look, they're, they're there as a distribution method. You don't yeah. make money off of distributing your work, but they do not should not own your work. And it should be that if you decide you don't want to be there, then to be your distributor anymore, um, they, they wouldn't have to be. But they're saying it for IP for creators and Webtoon. 
Right. So we're afraid that you're going to take your show and you're going to run to somebody else and they're going to take all the money. Yeah, and, and they are doing a lot, of, stepping. a lot of streaming shows now. I mean, they are. They said, we understand that entertainment contracts are complex and that every creator and every potential buyer have different needs and interests. One of the ways we plan to improve this area is by creating more business affairs, support roles, and educational assets. These will help creators better understand their contracts in everyday terms and ensure creators okay. can share feedback So directly. we're going to put business affairs support roles and educational assets to, to assets that work for us to explain your contract to you so you understand it uh, the way we want you to understand it because they work for us. This yeah. sounds so familiar to something else that we had an issue with. Um, go back down from it, though. I thought something else was interesting. They were talking here about, about stuff, how the industry is competitive, but they're talking about um, why you want to put it on their site because they have instant access for new series to a guaranteed global audience. Besides large-scale streaming services, this isn't found anywhere else. We've ruined web comics. I mean, build a global community for your work. They here's what they did. They came over here because it was a Korean company. They came over here, and basically what they did was they threw money at people. They were paying people to get to put stuff on there. They were throwing money at people. They were doing programs and stuff, trying to get on there. They were trying from the beginning to get stuff built up they can use to make IP, to be an IP farm. Yeah. Their process basically destroyed web comics as it was. Yes. They're pretty much <laughs> the only viable them and maybe tapas, like the only viable um, routes to go at this point because of what they they completely decimated the web comic ecosystem. And now, since they've got themselves here, if you want to be seen, you'll give us what we want. Pay, you know, and we can take everything because we have the biggest global audience because we literally buried everything else. It's basically the Google of, you know, comics. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, they are because Naver owns them. Mm -hmm. Naver is the huge search engine in uh, South Korea. It is. It's Korea, literally so. the Google of web comics. Yeah. They so decimated the web comic ecosystem as it was. Right. Um, they came in and a lot of people were kind of like, uh-oh, watch out. Here comes Webtoon. But then they were also excited because they're like, oh, look, they're legitimizing web comics. And they're actually providing people. And there were a lot of Western creators that signed on originally, um, but they left those deals for whatever reason. But the deals then are not the deals now. No. The deals then I don't think are anywhere near as ridiculous as they are now. I mean, it sounds, if, if true. If true. Every red flag I am seeing, I'm seeing all of them. And I would I would not sign anything unless you have a lawyer negotiate on your behalf. Yeah. And if they won't negotiate with you, then I don't want to tell you I would not sign this deal. If you want to keep your stuff and you want to keep control of your thing and you don't want them to take it from you, if it becomes popular, do not agree to these deals. And they're only going to give these deals to people they think that they could they could leverage into TV shows and things that they're going to make money on. Yeah. Um, they said that, yeah, you can negotiate. Um, this person said that they don't really – there's not much room for negotiation because there's probably so many people that want these deals that they will, they will jump at them. People will do it and not understand what they're getting into. Yeah. And then it'll be like, Oh crap, you basically own my comic forever. And we saw this, there were like uh web comics groups and stuff that were kind of doing this too, where they're kind of like buying into your comic. And I know people, I know people that actually lost their stuff because they, you know, signed it over. We had um, Tokyo Pop came under fire too. Now they claim that they explained things to people very clearly, and because you know they actually flew them into California to tell them what the deal was, but they were complaining that they had to buy back their characters or whatever. You know, and that's just kind of the kind of the deal. They're not going to give you something for free. I, mean, I like this. They're talking about. Um about agents and stuff, but they're saying Webtoon's basically trying their damnedest to harvest IP and pay pennies towards creators. This is not a partnership like publishing usually is. It's unethical and essentially robbing creators blind out of their rights and opportunities to generate wealth for themselves with the IP they created. Exactly. Um, normally, these are negotiated. It's yes. a two-way street. Um, they said this, but, but they have a friend experience with others. I have heard, read, some others decline the offers or attempts at negotiating. Negotiate doesn't get very far. Because you're basically, you do what they say or you don't get the deal. Yeah, pretty much. And people were like, well, they think it's going to be a good stepping stone or whatever. But I'm like, if you lock yourself into a, you know, like you, you create this runaway success and it sells like, you know, hundreds of thousands of copies of comics or whatever, and you're still getting paid your whatever, a couple thousand dollars a month and that's it. And that's all you ever get. And they can kick you off your own book. Yeah. And this was just going to be the stupidest thing ever. Yeah. But look, um, we're going to have to wrap this up because I have to go somewhere. But what I'm going to say is this. Whenever you have a contract presented to you, you must, must, must have a lawyer look at it. Um, 
you they will sneak things in that you might not catch. Yes. We even had lawyers look at contracts, and then they didn't catch something right away. And then we said, no, did you see how it was worded? Because it could be interpreted as something completely different um, because they were so shady. Do not just take them at their word or on the phone call when they're explaining it to you. Oh, we say it's this. I don't care. I don't care who they ta they bring out, who what big name they bring out saying, this is one of our people. Look, they trust us too. Don't buy it. You get a lawyer to look at it first. The, yeah. No matter who they, they they throw in your face. I don't care if it's Mr. Beast, for example. <laughs> um, yes. Don't sign it unless yes. you uh, have a lawyer look at it. Yeah. Always. Well, a lot of times what they will do to get you to you know get the fish to jump into the boat is they will take a success story and there might only be one or two of them and be like, well, this person did this. So, you know, this could be you. It's like, well, that person did it under different circumstances. And as other people point out in this thread, you know, Webtoon is pretty saturated right now. So the chances of having any like massive breakout success is slim. I have an example of a place that ha got sold, deleted the old contracts, deleted the old website, and then tried to say that that's not what it said. Yes, that happens too. Disney's tried that crap mm -hmm. too. I'm they, just saying. It, you, oh, we sold the company. We don't have to honor those contracts. Always get copies. Yep. yep. I don't care what they tell you on the phone. Always get it in writing and always have a lawyer look at it. We have to wrap this up because I have to leave. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap it up. There you go, guys. Uh, you can go out to Reddit, read it for yourself, see what you think about it. But it is making the rounds. Just FYI. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.